Welcome to SC Custom Designs, where it is 89 degrees, feels like 96 degrees with the humidity. It's uh, July 4th, 5th, I believe. Time is flying by. Uh, we are done painting our house. Look up the, the last episode. I don't, I'm not even sure if I put it on YouTube. Connected. So at any rate, this is the front of my porch. And the lovely one picked out the colors. Thank God, just two this time. 19, 20 years ago, it was three colors. And imagine doing that up here. The things we do for love. So up there on the dormer, you can see the dormers though. They now have um, vinyl and, and, and tin. So I'm gonna be a little delirious on this video because, well, I'm delirious with this heat. Um, this is going to be a, a several part video. Uh, by the way, I see Custom Designs. This is my old design, by the way. These are my very first beer caddies that I made to sell at our shows. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like what you hear. Thumbs up. That'd be great. Thumbs down. Let us know why. Easy just to say thumbs down with no comments. But there you go. I appreciate your comments. And I do get back to them, by the way. Some of them I have to remove because they're just downright nasty. I don't understand folks like that, but, uh, you know, that's your prerogative. All right, so here we go. The lovely one decided she wanted to take off the cedar siding so that she has more light coming in here. Um, so I took that off. I started to clean up the nails. Um, for the most part. Got all the nails off. There's going to be a few stragglers here and there, I'm sure. Um, like the one down there, hiding incognito. So the first thing we're going to do is sand these guys down on all four sides. Then we're going to take a router, and we're going to do a little round over. That's probably not the bit that I'm going to use. Probably going to use a bit like this. Um, so there you go. And then, if you look up the code where you live, and I highly recommend you do that. There's actually a, uh, the regulations in your city will tell you how far apart these need to be. For the city of Schenectady, one, uh, part, part B, 167.25, access and vertical, uh, don't know what that word is, between stories. Okay? So basically when it talks about this part it says it shall be at least three feet in height okay so that's the top of your unit um, the uh, lateral load at the top at least 50 pounds per linear foot trust me I've stood on this I'm gonna do it right now it's pretty strong uh, fixed openings and railings not to exceed six inches now that's where I have an issue and naturally it's for safety of for example babies um, I found other uh, measurements that said or documentation that said four inch rule and that inspectors will carry around a four inch uh, ball and if they can get it between there then that's not good so these are 16 and a, sorry these are 15 inches between so I have to come out six inches okay so that's that's rather awkward a six and if I put one there and then six inches later is going to be kind of close to this so I'm gonna to have to figure that out what I'm gonna do um, they do have apps that will if you tell them you have this this room point A on the left point B on the right it'll calculate where you want your spindles and how many spindles you're going to need so there you go so I'm going to have to figure out those types of things um, the placement to, to get at least those six inches so I'll probably split the difference and just put them in the middle like this right that that seems to make sense to me then I have definitely my six inches okay it's probably what I'll do and, and the lovely one has spoken up, my wife, and said she doesn't want more 2x4s. 
She's not living in a man cave, she said. And I agree. Um, I'm going to get one by ones or one by twos, okay, that are going to go in the middle here. So it's going to look, and I'll probably uh, router those on the router table, okay? That'll be a lot easier for me. Just router long pieces and then chop them up uh, to this distance here. Sorry, y'all on the big TVs. You don't hesitate to tell me that they need their jam. I mean, some of y'all can watch my videos because I move too much. So that's approximately 20 and a half inches high. Okay. So you came in at the beginning of the project, which is what I like to do. If you're not familiar with my videos, I have 533 videos, by the way. And boy, I am sweating. All I'm doing is standing here or kneeling and talking. So um, we on a wide variety of subjects. Um, I just, you know, when I think of it, I'll do videos on uh, house projects. Uh, 2018, I was doing house projects just on the other side of that room there. It's called an interior room. I did a new ceiling, all kinds of new work in there installed a new light those types of things um, yesterday this is more of a, a social visit so you know if you're tuning in hopefully you don't mind the variety in my videos I like to do videos that aren't rehearsed until I get it absolutely perfect I'm far from perfect but I have a passion for woodworking and uh, I do a lot of projects. I'm going to be starting a project uh, making a sign for The Works. That's T-H-E, The, space, W-E-R-C-S. It's Worldwide Environment and Regulatory Compliance Systems. And I'm going to, they gave me their sign and I'm going to make an, a table out of the $2,000 sign, last sign. So there you go. I put a new uh, detector and LED light. So I upgraded that yesterday just before around dinner time. All right, so I have it set up. I have quite a big backyard. Nice city lot I got here, not not too bad, not too shabby. Look up the episode on my making that poly shed. The poly shed back there is like the Crystal Palace. You can see all around it. The windows that I have there, I found in the garbage. The, the, the door in the top part was made, donated by my pastor and some friends parishioners and they installed that made that for me I took the four by the crates you know the pallets I took them all off and replaced with two by four construction and put in the baffled uh, units there so in the winter time it's amazing uh, you don't got to pay for the heat in there if you're working in the daytime all right so you watch the sensor we'll see if it goes on it should when I get about here, of course, I can't see. I'm looking right into the sun. And there you go. It went on. It took me a little while to figure out um, exactly where I wanted that and the intensity. I think it goes up to about 70 yards. 70 feet. Sorry. 70 feet. So clearly, I can go to the back of my yard if I want. But really, I'm concerned about this area here. Access to my front porch area in general. But needless to say, it's set to the dust to dawn, dawn to dust uh, setting. So it just comes on. All right, so the good news here is, my friends, I'm, I'm done with my house. It took me, I single-handedly painted the house. Um, I have to do a little bit of touch up here and there. Uh, but let's come back around. And this here pink is gonna get another color, not the green. So, <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series. This is part one. I don't know what I'm calling it, but it's, uh, upgrading this this porch rail area so thanks for coming into the shop which is currently outside thanks guys for watching and have a super a safe enjoyable weekend enjoy your summer before you know it you're going to be hearing dashing through the snow